Hello and welcome to Thomas's Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. I have a guest that the people that have followed this channel for a long time already know. My friend Jane Arnold, welcome back. Thank you, it's good to be here. I can't believe it's already November. There is a special offer in November that I will be talking about in a minute and I made a, a special video about this, but it will all come up in a minute. So, what we will do here? We will separate the reading into different sections because it's easier to understand it, hopefully. <laughs> and that will be the overall energy for the months of November for the sign of Aries. And then we will look at, at your emotional core, see if there's pain coming in. Not pain, maybe there's pain coming in. <laughs> I'm, I, I have sprained my fucking leg and I'm in pain. But that is just an association that I shouldn't have made. I'm okay, Aries. If you want to send me money, please feel free. <laughs> Point is, I'm not, I'm not saying there's pain coming in. What I meant was, if there's love coming in, what's the difference? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's love coming in or healing that needs to happen. You know, you know, Freudian slips. Mm, Aries, watch your life. And then, <laughs> lastly, we look at opportunities. As they present themselves to you in the months of November 2023. If you're new here, there are a lot of videos on this channel that are of interest. You always find a new moon and full moon reading um, as well. Um, if I have enough time, I record a love life reading every now and then. If there's retrograde stuff that needs to happen, you will also find videos about this on this very channel. So it would be awesome if you could actually subscribe. right? And now, without further ado, you probably have to sh uh, shuffle your cards. right? Telling you, guest readers. Anyway, so <laughs> we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead for the sign of Aries. Okay. Okay. Let's have a look for Aries. Also, because of my 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 uh, foot or my ankle being a bit knuckered, I had to put that all a little bit back so I can actually put, stretch my leg. So we will have to be a bit more direct, a bit louder, so that the voices carry, if that makes sense. So if we're shouting at you, it's all in good faith, right? <laughs> just yes. so you know, right? Anyway, here's the overall energy for the month of November 2023 for the sign of Aries. Lovely. So for Aries, um, we're very much getting, and, and overall is you're now creating the balance that's been missing in your life. You've been feeling a little bit out of sync and you're now creating the balance, the level, sort of feeling life settling down a little bit for you. You are looking towards 2024 already, I feel. Um, a lot of you will be doing that. It's You want to see the back of this year. There's been a lot of things going on for Aryans this year. And you just want to see the back. You're looking for next year. And you're just hoping that that balance will come in and you will feel better about things. Um, because you've been feeling quite out of sorts. Um, and that's that's really what I'm getting the overview for Aries at the moment. Okay, and it really goes hand in hand, which is often the case for the next section, which is the um, your emotional core. See if there's love coming in, whether or not there's healing. And for you guys, there is some healing that needs to happen. Now you mentioned balance, mm. and this is exactly what this month should be about. This is not the month to make major changes. I tell you what you got and then I tell you what it means. So you have the descendant, which is about um, inviting change. I will um, talk more on this in a minute. And then you have the energy of Aries, which is obviously your sign. That is your sign. You are the first sign. What that means is because you're the beginning of the zodiac wheel and the, and the star sign wheel, there's nobody in front of you. So oftentimes when you have emotional pain, when you're not well, Reaching out to someone is not easy for a lot of Aryans and it doesn't come easy to you. Now, you have a rising sign, which is the Ascendant. The Ascendant can be seen as a, a best buddy that is always here to support you, but also here to push you, if that makes sense. And for the most part, because we're a bunch of idiots as humans, <laughs> right? um, he has his work cut out. Now, the energy of the Ascendant has a little helper himself, herself, itself, <laughs> called the Ascendant. And the Ascendant is what shows up here. Now, the Ascendant is just another energy that says, like, look at things from a different point of view. It's trying to balance it. And the reason why this is important, because the Ascendant, for the most part, 
can always, and I say for the most part because nothing is always, always, <laughs> that makes sense, but 95% of the time, no matter what your birth chart is like, you will find the ascendant uh, in the sign of Libra. It sort of lives there. Um, and Libra is the sign of balance. So you have the need for extra balance, but because the, the energy on the card, so to speak, is invitation, what you cannot do, should not do, remember you have to really do whatever the heck you want, right? Whether or not it is helpful remains to be seen. The point is, when the term of invitation comes up, while you shouldn't make a lot of, energetically speaking, it's not going to be helpful to make an awful lot of changes this month. But invitation is to say, you know, I invite you to have a conversation about how we're dealing to get with stuff together. So it's about being open. It's about being typical Aries. It's about I'm acting on this. I'm going to act. I'm going to make sure this is looked at. So you are the person that is also typical in your nature to instigate conversations. The point is, at this point in time, I'm not getting new love, if that makes sense. Remember, this is a general reading. It may not uh, uh, resonate for all of you, but overall speaking, um, the energy here is more about what sort of, sounds horrible, what sort of damage already sits inside me. And then about if the people that you feel have caused this, or if there's any issues that are more with, with people that you see as more intimate, could also be people that are no longer in your life, that you know, you're now feeling resentful towards, or maybe that, that hinders you from manifesting anew, is looking at it, inviting communication in, to have that sorted. Now the good thing is that the energy, or the numerical energy, of the Descendant card is the number 37. Seven and three is 10. Cut to zero, right? And you have another one. So the point they're making is, you, you have only have to be yourself, but a bit more determined to deal with stuff that is now ready to leave you, right? And um, you, you mentioned 2023 being a bit of a mm. difficult thing. Now, 2023 is a seven year, which is a year where we get a lot of stuff done. 2024 is not. 2024 is the year of stumbling blocks, because when you look at the numbers, you have to... Um, there will be more difficulties, let's put it this way, very likely for all of us um, in 2024 than there will ever be in 2023. Having said that, when the energy of stumbling blocks is looked at with the number eight, right? That's the number of stumbling blocks. Hence, the year becomes 2024, two and two plus four is eight. So that's how we look at the number. What you need to then do in the new year, which is not that far away, is to see things from a different point of view. This way you can topple over the eight and it becomes the infinity sign. So watch what habits you have um, and how you repeat certain things that do no longer serve you. So that is just for your emotional core. That was a lot, <laughs> right? Um, but be aware. Okay, so, and now we're looking at the, <clears throat> at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of November 2023 for the sign of Aries. Before we do, I just want to mention this. Um, I currently am a executive contributor for, a, for the Brains magazine. I put the link in the description box below. And they actually handpick people that they find, that they, that they believe to be quite knowledgeable, so I'm quite um, chuffed actually, that they picked me. So I'm writing a lot of um, astrology related, um, but also empowering articles for them. And you can find them also by clicking on the link, because obviously the more traffic we get to that side, you know, it is good for everybody. It's a free magazine, right? I'm putting it all down there. Um, so at the moment, um, because you have the energy of being Aries, you know, you have to do stuff. And your issue is always, I don't really need help. For, the, for a lot of the time, you just do stuff on your own and you sometimes feel a bit um, on your own, right? So again, that Brains magazine then fits into this because there's tons of people that write about all sorts of issues and how they can help you overcome this, if that makes sense, right? So please, please, please figure this out in the description box below. Lastly, there's a special offer. Yay! <laughs> and that special offer is astrology report so i have been two years ago i started writing um 
Personalized astrology report. So when you're being born, the universe takes a snapshot and becomes your birth chart. And the positions of the stars and the positions of the houses, together with the aspect they have with the sun when you were born, um, tell you how you tick and how that impacts your life. And in the astrology reports that you can get cheaper this month, um, I look at all this, but also look at the moon phase you were born under, look at your sign, its elements and its modes and all that kind of stuff. And this month you get 10% off. So um, please, 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 uh, you know, do that. You can get an astrology report for 27 pounds as a PDF or for 45 pounds as a um, deluxe version. And the deluxe version includes shipping first class uh, to you when you are, should you be in mainland UK or second class worldwide. There's a full video about this and what that all entails on this very channel. Just wanted to mention this because this, all, this offer is only available for the month of November. And for the most part, it is obviously for, just for people who know me. That makes sense. So I'm going to post this on my pages. And if you see it there, you can back yourself 10% off. Um, and they make perfect gifts. Right? To, for yourself and for your loved ones. And the reason I put them out in November is because oftentimes before Christmas, they, they become quite popular. And because it takes me between three and five days to create the report, the earlier you book this, the better. Anyway, so that's that. And now we're looking at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of November 2023 for the very sign of Aries. Lovely. Wow, for Aries. And it, it does fall in with what uh, Thomas has just been saying. We have energy work and we have time to go. Energy work is all about the healing, the healing that's been going on, what you've been sorting out in your life, things that you've had to let go of that you may not have wanted to or had to let go of because you've wanted to. Either way, there's still that healing that has to go on. So there's a lot of energy work and healing that has gone on and it is an opportunity sometimes we don't think it is but it's an opportunity to start again for the new starts for the fresh starts and um, ready for for all the opportunities that are going to come your way and they are going to come because you've got time to go which is very much about moving forward now getting on with things that you do want to do yep. um it's it's an opportunity for you to lift yourself out of the doldrums and out of, of everything that's been going on in your life this year um, some of you, it, it may only have been in a small way, but you will have felt the effects of it. But some of you in, in quite a, a bigger way as well. But it's just getting ready for 2024. Um, and as you said, there's, there's still some more to come in 2024, yeah, but yeah. you'll be more prepared Absolutely. for it. And there's one important thing to always remember. The only time you have is now. Yeah. So. You know, we are always in different energies according to what the universe is doing. And this is the 11th month. 11 is the highest number there is. It's a master number. Now, in astrology, only 11 and 22 are master numbers because only they fit into a calendar. But with the energy of 11, which is this, you know, I can do anything uh, energy that is now here for all of us for the entire month of November, you will therefore do very well looking at things this month because the energy is just higher mm -hmm. based on the fact that we are living in the 11th month. So it, there is these things, there's no coincidence, that makes sense. And so when things fall, come together, right, um, and different aspects sort of form, um, they can be very supportive. And November is just that month. Okay, James, thank you so much. You're welcome. If you like my channel, please like, subscribe and share. If you want a reading, with myself or Jane, look into the description box and uh, you know we can show you or you can figure out then how this is done. And if you really like me, you can now buy me a coffee on www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. I do love my coffee. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank you so much. See you all next month. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye.